Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting and as you can probably see this is going to be a review of my Beretta 1301 Comp. Now as most of you will know I've had this gun for a while, shot it for a fair few months and I've put quite a number of cartridges through it and used it in a variety of different shooting scenarios both for what it's intended and not intended so I thought it was about time and I had enough of a feel for the gun to be able to do a review. Uh, now the model that I have exactly is the 24 inch barreled gun. You can get it in 21 inch but it's not UK legal so obviously if you're in the States you'd have the choice between the two. The gun comes in either a 5 plus 1 as standard without the tube or you can put the tube on and then you have the 9 plus 1 so I have a total of 10 round capacity. It is obviously in 12 gauge um, and they can all take up to 3 inch shells which I can tell you firing the uh, Froki Magnum shells out of this it's a 52 gram loan load it's just absolutely incredible and it takes it all day long now you will know that this gun is meant specifically for practical shotgun or three gun it is for that practical style of shooting one example of that is that the stock as standard comes really really short the length of pull on on this is so short and it does feel a bit weird getting used to it if you have a normal sort of over and under shotgun you know everything fits perfectly you mount it up and it just feels right with this you can feel that there's a chunk missing if you don't like that or you are just you know really tall got really long arms and you find it too short you do get some extension pads that you can fit in to actually widen that out also it's got a lot of changes to the internals so you've got the loading gate that's extended the port the actual loading port itself um, has been opened up now after shooting this for a while I will be opening this up a little bit more and having the gate extended further but for a standard off the shelf gun this comes pretty well um, specced as it is and pretty well um, adjusted and cleared. Other little things that make it very very good for practical shooting the bolt um, handle that's extended it's large it's easy to grip in sort of high stress time scenarios you're not going to slip on this you're not going to miss it it is right there you grab it you pull it also you've got an enlarged safety on it um, I tend I know it's a bad habit but I tend to leave the safeties off anyway because I'm always tripping myself up over that um, but it's enlarged just so you can get to it quickly and of course you've got your bolt release that is enlarged as well on most semi-automatic shotguns this is a tiny little button and obviously when you're there doing practical shooting you need to be able to just hit it straight away and move on that allows you no matter where you hit in that area you are sending that off um, so that you're never going to have a, a problem with that um, to pull the bolt back as well this is a feature that actually when I picked the gun up it took me about five minutes to realize any I think Beretta owners will, will know this off the bat but you've got this little button under here push that back and it will relock the bolt for you. This also features the Beretta patented blink system. It is a phenomenally fast bolt. I found out the hard way by actually playing around with the gun with the bolt back. I had my fingers in the chamber and actually jammed my finger on it and I can tell you it is a powerful fast bolt. When you buy a gun as well you want it to, to function, you want the functionality obviously to be good but it's also the aesthetics that I love about this gun and I think it, it sort of tends towards that practical style of shooting. Obviously it's all black, that's not a uncommon thing for guns, but it's got this matte finished barrel and I think it looks absolutely stunning. Um, as, well, as well for the aesthetics and also it is a practical element, is the gripping and the checkering on your forend and on the actual stock itself. This thing is brutal. Uh, the first time I actually shot one of these guns, it just ripped my hands up. I shoot this with gloves. Um, I think my hands have toughened up a little bit more so I, I feel comfortable shooting it without gloves. But it really is rough. This gun is not gonna slip out of your hands. So from pretty much top to bottom, this thing is incredibly honed in, as I said, out of the box for practical shotgun and practical shooting. It just feels very natural to shoot. As I said, you know, the shorter stock 
does sort of throw you a bit um, to begin with, but actually it just allows you to bring up the gun so much faster. You get it into the shoulder, you can move around with it. Um, it's so pointable. And another thing about it that makes it so pointable and usable is that it's incredibly light. It's all plastic apart from obviously you've got the action and barrels. Um, it's all lightweight and you do get a bit more recoil with the gun and I know that some people like to run these guns with sort of lighter loads than they normally would because of the recoil but I haven't found it too much of a problem but you do get a, a bigger kick but again it just makes it easier to move around and run around with. The gun breaks down just like any other semi-automatic shotgun or most semi-automatic shotguns obviously you have to remove the tube the fore end will slide off you can get to all the internals the bolt comes out you can actually get the trigger unit out pretty easily so for for maintenance and caring for it it's really easy talking about the mechanism as well this is actually a gas fed system there is actually a gas port um, up here it gets incredibly dirty as you would imagine so that's something similar to an AR-15 that you'd have to maintain and keep clean. The accessories and everything that comes with it as I said you get the spare plates um, to extend the, the butt. It does come with one OptiBore choke you just get the one obviously you get the tool because it's the generic OptiBore HP system you can buy any choke you want for it. If you want to go and use it for ski, if you want to go use it for normal clays, or if you're just doing a stage where you think another choke would be better, you can buy all those chokes. My personal opinion of this gun, you can probably tell I'm quite fond of it. I've had amazing fun with it. I've shot other um, semi and pump action shotguns of a similar sort of style, and I absolutely love this. When I shot this gun, I knew exactly the gun that I was going to buy for a practical shotgun. I get on fantastically well with it. I use it for ski, for clay, you know, for normal clays as well. Um, it's not as good as my over and under because of the shape and style and of the feel of the gun, but it will still hit clays. It will still you still get on well with it. I've done some really good times off the bat first time using this down at Phoenix, which is my practical shotgun club, and I'm really impressed. I felt very natural with this gun for the for the purpose that it's intended. I can highly recommend one of these. Fabulous gun. So I hope that you found this review useful. Um, I wanted to get it out, as I said, because there's so many people interested in this gun. Uh, let me know what you think of the gun or if there's any other guns that you would recommend for practical shotgun or three guns. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon.